Hi, everyone. This is a very exciting moment for me to be giving the opening keynote at the second International Chatbot Summit, and this time here in Berlin. And I want to start my keynote with one number. One number I believe signifies the market interest in this revolution. And this number is $1.4 trillion. $1.4 trillion is the total market value of the sponsors of this event. These leading companies, leading brands, are the leaders of the bot revolution, and they've decided to invest and take an active part in this event in order to be in front of this amazing community, in order to be in front of everyone in this room. So thank you very much for making it here. Just a few words about myself. I've been in tech for over 17 years, had the honor to lead pioneering teams at Sun Microsystems, Oracle, and LivePerson, taking digital experiences to the next level. From the early days of mobile Java to apps, and now bots. And today I want to talk to you about three things. Where are we today? What's my vision for the market? And what are the strategies you should do in order to get on board? At the last Facebook F8, Facebook announced there are more than 100,000 bots on Facebook Messenger alone. To put this number in perspective, 12 months into the app revolution, there were less than half apps on the Apple App Store. Second, many leading brands have already engaged in the market and launched bots. You will hear today companies like Lufthansa, Deutsche Telekom, Nestle, Vodafone have already started launching bots and they will tell you stories behind the scenes of how they made it successful and what they're looking to do forward. Yet, brands today evolve their main digital strategy around the app. But this is going to change because mobile apps are declining. According to a recent Gartner report, 20% of brands will abandon their mobile app by 2019. And we're soon going to see, sooner than later than most people expect, we're going to see advertisements about bots all over. It's not about brands launching bots. That's already happening. It's about brands making the center of the digital strategy be bots. And why is that? This is because conversation is the way we as consumers like to interact. The way we communicate with friends and family is via text or via voice, but it's conversational by nature. It's dialogue-based. And this is the first time in computational history that the technology enables us to have the conversation between a brand and a human, a conversation between a digital experience and a person. And there is going to be a paradigm shift. In every revolution, there are paradigm shifts. In every disruption in the market, we need to ask ourselves, what does it mean for me? And the shift that I see is the shift to what I call the digital concierge model, where instead of having a website of a bank or a bank app, the chatbot will become our personal banker. He will know 90 days in advance that we're going to run low on cash flow and that we need a loan, and will be able to advise us which loan to take on preferable terms. He will know we transfer money from each account to the other every month, and will do the calculations and will just advise for us. He will be able to advise us on investments, and we won't need to go into a bank and consult with an investment banker. And we ran a quick survey amongst the uh, attendees, of the, uh, among the community of Chatbot Summit, and we have some interesting results. The first, the, the question was, in the future, I am most likely to have my bot be my, and the first choice was travel agent. It might be because over 50% of people in the room here travel to this event. My personal health advisor, personal banker, trainer, life coach, 
and fashion advisor. And if we look at the world five to ten years from today, we are going to have a personal concierge for every area of our lives. This is going to affect the daily lives of billions of people. And it's not just about mobile, and it's not just about text. It's also about voice, and it's also about the car, and it's also about the home. And the question I get asked by many brands is, what should we do about this revolution? What should, okay, we understand, what should we do about it? And I recommend a two-pronged strategy approach. Start launching your bot now, and start planning for the future and work in parallel. What is starting, start uh, launching your bot now? So in case you haven't launched a bot yet, my recommendation is to select the consumer group that is likely to message. In many cases, these would be millennials. Within that group, choose a smaller group that have a common problem. Solve that problem for them via conversational interface and provide the best experience. In many cases, that experience, you would need to augment it by a human touch in order to, to provide the best experience. Iterate and continue to the next problem, to the next consumer group, and continue to grow. In parallel to that, create a mastermind group within your organization. Try to envision the world. How would, an how would the world look like in a conversational paradigm? What does it mean for you? And I would look into technologies of the futures that would give competitive edge for these solutions. Voice is going to be huge. Human bot tangle solutions, platforms that provide an optimized solution, on one hand, giving the bot the heavy lifting and the mundane work to do, yet adding the human touch where needed. Empathy. I don't want an empathy from a bot. I want an empathy from a human. Third, dialogue management. Yes, we have natural language processing today. It's good enough, but it's not perfect. But it's not enough in order to create a conversation, because with conversation, you need to have a dialogue. And the dialogue cannot go one way all the time. It needs to be a two-way dialogue. How do you create a two-way dialogue over time? This is an art, it's not a science, but we need technology in order to do that. Personality. Think of your bot. It will have a name. The bot would be the ultimate manifestation of the brand and the brand values. It would need to have a personality. It doesn't need to imitate a human, but it needs to have a personality. So technologies that help you create better personalities, I think, are going to be big as well. And of course, anything that has to do with deeper AI, machine learning, deep learning, you know, that's what's beautiful about technology. No one really knows what exactly is going to happen. And then, for the entrepreneurs in the room, or how I call them, botrepreneurs. So first of all, this is an exciting time to be an entrepreneur. This is a once-in-a-decade opportunity to be part of a market disruption. And look at all these amazing startups that are here with us at the Chatbot Boulevard and also presenting. I want to give applause to all the startups here. Thank you very much. You know, startups are at the heart of every market disruption. They bring passion into what they do. And I see the passion in all the entrepreneurs here, and I'm excited myself. And I just want to share one advice from my side. I see a lot of startups, and, the, and they hear, they, I hear the same stories, and it's fine to begin with. Engage with the market, engage with brands, whatever you do, I think that is the most important thing. However, make sure that you define your unique value proposition what makes you different is the most difficult question to answer. What is your unique value proposition to the market? What do you bring that the market does not have and that the market would need today or in three, five years from today? So with that, I want you all to take the time to learn, connect, and also have a good time. Thank you very much.